السلام علیکم مائی سیلف اسفیہ شیخ ان آم فیکلٹی آف بائیلوجی ناو آم گوائنگ ٹو انٹروڈیوز آور بائیلوجی لیب دیس از آور بائیلوجی لیب اینڈ یو ہیو ویل آرگنائز انسٹرومنٹ ٹو ڈے مائی اسٹوڈنٹس آر گوائنگ ٹو پرفارم دا پریکٹیکل آف اسٹیننگ آف نیوکلیئر ایسڈ وتھ دا ہیلپ آف دا ایسیٹو کارن السلام علیکم آئی ایم شیخ زیبا خاتون فرام اسٹینڈرڈ ٹویلتھ سائنس ٹو ڈے وی آر پرفارمنگ پریکٹیکل فار دا ٹیسٹ آف نیوکلیئر ایسڈ پریزنٹ ان اونین پین السلام علیکم آئی ایم آن ہیرا فاطمہ فرام ٹویلتھ سائنس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو بی پرفارم دس پریکٹیکل لائک ٹو پروسیجر ان اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ السلام علیکم مائی نیم از شیخ راہل آئی ایم فرام اسٹینڈرڈ ٹویلتھ سائنس اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین دا ریزلٹس آف دس ایکسپیریمنٹ Here we have all of the plant specimens. And here we have our animal specimens. We have permanent slides, microscope and all of the other things, chemicals required for our practical. We are going to perform the practical of staining the nucleic acid present in the onion peel cell by using acetocarmine reagent. The aim of our practical is to stain the nucleic acid present inside the onion peel cell by the use of acetocarmine. The principle of this practical is that the acetocarmine reacts with the nucleic acid present inside the onion peel cell. and gives red colored conjugate now i'm going to proceed uh, like step by step uh, how to stain nucleic acids in a onion so for staining i have to first uh, steal so let me peel this onion so that i can more closely see the nucleic acids in a microscope so So here it is a uh, peeled onion. Now I have to put in a. This is a wash glass. We use this. Let's put this in this. And we have to pour this wash glass into a water. So let it. I have to take a first or first. now i have this pour this yeah onion steel in a water this is a acetocarmine solution we use this for staining nucleic acids and i have to first take a some drop from it after leaving this 5 minutes i have to take this from this by when we take out from this water we should be very careful and now i will dip in this now this will be get heaten or we can also put it in the presence of sunlight also so now 5 minute is over i have to take the a little bit piece of this onion peel for more precise measurement i will take a maximum something 0.5 cm of the piece uh let's put pour in this water so that extra steam will get from
now the whatever the extra stain in this were present now it not it is not present anymore because i have i washed it so take it from here and this is the slide glass so i'm going to put it this on slide glass now by using a dropper we have to put a just a little bit of drop of water just a one drop this is a cover slip and we should be very careful when we put this cover slip on this slide and we must be very careful that we should be avoid bubbles and any wrinkles so we are going to see under the microscope that how it is seen in a microscope to see the stain nuclei of onion peel we have to use the lower magnification of 10x and higher magnification of 45x to see the stain nuclei of onion peel under the microscope so we can observe the stain nuclei of onion peel in this So the whole experiment was about the staining of nucleic acid by acetonic acid, uh, and we can see the in the experiment that uh, the peel of onion and uh, the nucleic acid between the between the strips of nuclei, and uh, it is the main pigment of our uh, body, and uh, we have to find the nucleic acid. So in the experiment we had seen the different uh, type of biomolecules, but the nucleic acid is the main main biomolecule and our aim was in this experiment was to see the nucleic acid 